What up? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Elias. Hello everyone, I'm from the channel, Elias. I'm here in LA, hanging out with Elias, and I thought it'd be fun to test each other over our reading taste, reading preferences, reading interests, and see how well we know each other. Before we get to it though, today's video is being sponsored by Book of the Month. If you don't know anything about Book of the Month, let me fill you in. Book of the Month is a monthly book subscription service. Each month their team goes through hundreds of books and curates a list of five to seven books to choose from. They always have a nice variety variety of genres to pick from, sometimes they have books that haven't even been released yet, and they also highlight debut authors often. It gives you the chance to find the perfect book for you at an affordable cost. They also have a skip option where if you don't fancy any of the books they chose that month, they make it easy for you to skip and you won't be charged for that month. This month they've got five book options, so let's go over them. Killers of a Certain Age, which is a mystery thriller. Love on the Brain, which is an adult romance. The Fortunes of Jaded Women, which is a magical realism. The Attic Child, which is historical fiction. And Other Birds, which is also magical realism. The two books that I picked out this month. First up, Other Birds, which again, this is a magical realism book. I love a magical realism moment, so I had to have this one. It follows Zoe, who moves to her mother's hometown after her passing, and she finds herself rooting herself in this little community, in this little town. They're all working together to cope with loss and moving forward, and it just sounds wholesome and beautiful and also emotional. I feel like I'm gonna need some tissues for this one. It's gonna yank on my tears. Can't wait for that. I love when books make me an emotional wreck. And then in the iconic blue book, of the month box. <laughs> Killers of a certain age. Now I'm excited for this one because while it is a mystery thriller, it also sounds like it's got a bit of a humorous side to it, which I'm really looking forward to. We follow four assassins who are now in their 80s and they're all retiring. They're sent on this all expenses paid vacation to mark their retirement. But when they get to their vacation location, they find out that they are being targeted and they're going to have to go against the very organization that they've worked so long for. This one sounds fantastic and I feel like I'm gonna have to read it right away. Those are the two books that I picked for the month of September. You can get your first book of the month box for only $9.99 using my code JESSE. I'll be sure to leave a link down below in the description with more information on book of the month. I highly recommend checking out the service. It's one of my favorites. Now back to the video. Watch out. I feel like I'm not going to do very well with uh, your stuff. I think I have some life. semblance of how well your reading tastes are. Your interests to me are so like vastly confusing. I'm very picky. Yeah, he's think. picky, but he also likes things that you wouldn't expect him to like, and he hates things that you wouldn't expect him to hate too. Like so. other... He's just not readers. like all the other readers. He's special. Mm. He is something. I have a series of questions here and I'm just gonna ask them and we're gonna try to figure out what we think the other person would answer for this question. All time favorite book. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's like Miss Perkins' song for peculiar. I thought you were gonna know for a second because you were like, hmm. You talk about that book all the time. I know, I know. And I literally gave you my answer the other day. <laughs> Starless Sea. Yeah. He he he. You have a lot though that I feel like I do have a lot, through. like the Raven Boys. <laughs> Would you consider Night Circus one of your favorites? Yeah, Anything James that... the Dreamer. On Earth, oh yeah, yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what are some of mine then? You don't even know the rest of mine. I, I mean, saw quite a few. I said the Raven Boys. I said this Night Circus. What are you talking about? Let me let me look at my YA. Yeah, you can look at <laughs> not just YA. I have some adult books that I love. Really? Yeah. You mean adult? Oh my god. <laughs> I, I honestly don't even know. You did a most favorite book now most hated book. Okay. I have one for both of us already that like we both are like. Oh. You, you hate to fight the night. I didn't hate it. I thought it was okay. For a YA fantasy, it the was- The way you talk hard. about it, you talk about it in such a passionate way where you're like so frustrated with it that it feels like you hated it. No, I was just really- I'm just passionate about things. Oh my gosh. You hate that book. There's no, no I didn't hate it. I gave it three stars- two stars. It was not bad. The way you talk about it? Listen, the way you talked about it the other day. You're, you're so talking. dramatic. If you're a new like fantasy <laughs> YA reader, it might be the perfect book for you. However, if you're like a seasoned reader, I think that it offers absolutely nothing new. It's pretty boring. It's not the t the most terrible book. The other one, The Maidens. Yeah, F that book. But we like we both hated that one. I yeah, was like, I'm I surprised you it. you you didn't like it either because most of the books I tend to that's true not sort of like you like don't really gravitate towards. Oh, The Maidens though, like even the description, uh, red flag. Yeah, I was like, I'm probably not gonna like. I this. mean, what university has like twenty something year old ladies following Just a male professor over around? This male professor. Okay, answer for me. Most you can't say book? The Maidens. <laughs> that's so lame. Give me a hint. Is it like? What, what genre is it in? I'm trying to think if you have it or not. I think you do, because I was surprised that you had it. Cause really? Is it YA? Cindy didn't like it either. What? Is it, is it YA? No, it's not YA. It's adult, because I read adult. Oh yeah, you do have it. Where? <laughs> in the day now. Which, which shop is it on? <gasps> is it the Midnight Library? <sighs> Took you long enough. Yeah, it is. I still have yet to read that book. I think I'll like it. I, I actually got like it though. before the hype, because I'm, I'm 
quirky like that. It's not like all I the literally others. got it before the hype because I thought it sounded really interesting. It does, yeah. Concept wise, like it sounds really interesting, okay. but execution. Oh no. A book you feel neutral about. Okay, I feel like you felt, this is just me guessing, but I feel like I don't hear you ever talk about it. Percy Jackson, did you just feel kind of in the middle? <gasps> Are you freaking kidding me? He does not know me. Like, you have all. never talked about Percy Jackson though. That doesn't mean I feel neutral about it. Okay. I love that series. I That series is like the backbone of my, sort of like my, I want to say preteen years. I got so excited when the movie first came out and I thought it was fine. Honestly, I actually liked the first Percy Jackson movie, like contrast to all the belief that people really hated it. Just because it didn't match the character's description, which is stupid, by the way. <laughs> the silence. It was, it was literally the main thing that Annabeth did not have blonde hair. That didn't really bother me. That's not what bothered me about the movie, though. I mean, I mean the we're movie not gonna. That bad. We're not here to discuss Percy Jackson. Did you feel neutral about Two Can Keep a Secret? I honestly cannot remember, so it probably wasn't memorable enough. So <laughs> neutral. Right. Okay, I'll take it. Maybe the. Uh, P.S. I Still Love You? I haven't read those. Oh my, oh my gosh, really? <laughs> I've just seen the movies. Oh, the movies gosh. are solid. The Astonishing Color of After. I love that book. It's one of my favorites. Um, I give up. I don't know. It's hard. It is hard. I can't even pick one for myself. Oh I don't my know. Gosh. We're gonna I'm be blanking all on all books. Oh, you know what I felt neutral about that I feel like a lot of people would be shocked by? The new Cassie Clare trilogy, like the most recent <gasps> one. Really? Like the first two books, I wasn't like super impressed by. Is it the I just kind of felt like series? okay about them. Favorite author, Aaron Morgenstern. Words. Favorite genre. I feel I'm like curious to see what you'll say for me. I feel like you kind of fluctuate between like thriller and fantasy kind of but i would say thriller more so like that's just kind of what i identify you as in my mind if i were to want a, like a thriller recommendation i'd probably come to you i would say that i was really heavily involved in thrillers like maybe a year or two ago and i've been sort of getting back into like the speculative fiction and fantasy i think fantasy right now for me is my favorite genre yeah but who knows you have been reading a lot of fantasy i think for you i would say contemporary yeah but also speculative a little bit okay i've been kind of but more contemporary dying. It is more contemporary. Because I'm trying okay, to get back to fantasy. Contem it, it, because even though it, if it's like speculative, there's still like contemporary yeah, elements to it. Definitely. And I know that like one of the fantasy series that you have read that I haven't is like the Mistborn series. Mm, and yeah. I still well, I've only read the first book. <laughs> oh, me too. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Most hated genre. I actually don't really know this for you. Most hated genre. Okay, what genre do you not see on my shelves? I can honestly say the same oh. thing for you too. I mean, I wouldn't say hated. I just don't enjoy reading from it. Is it sci-fi for you? Yeah, I can, I can give you that one. Well, so. you have some sci-fi. I, I do have some sci-fi, but I don't. That's the genre I, I typically don't gravitate towards. Sci-fi, oh, fiction, and like erotic romance. Oh, yeah. I don't really care for that. I can apply for all these to you too as well. Maybe not the sci-fi, but I like sci-fi and nonfiction. I'm like I just haven't fully gotten into it, but I, I enjoy have, it. Okay, so. I, okay, romance then, adult romance. Oh, uh, I've actually kind of gotten into adult romance recently. What book have you read? I've read quite a few. I read the Love Hypothesis. I have a video coming out. That's why. Oh, okay. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers of the video. Favorite trope. I have no idea what your favorite mm. trope would be. Found family. Do you like found family? I love found family. Okay. I'll take it. What about me? <sighs> friends to lovers. I am a sucker for friends to lovers. Okay. I'm also, I also love found family too. I liked enemies to lovers better. Oh, really? Lovers, yeah. There's more, is it like, there's more because of the tension and stuff? More angst, I think. Mm, gotcha. Most hated trope. The chosen one? I like it, but I'm kind of over it. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah. You can take it. I would say my most hated trope is like student teacher relationships. Oh. I cannot okay. handle it. Mafia, forbidden romance. Uh -oh. I guess you could say forbidden romance. I really don't care. I guess it kind of contrasts to enemies to lovers. Mm -hmm. In a way, because that's what sort of builds upon, but mm -hmm. I just don't really care for that. I didn't get to answer for you, so I'll take that. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. First person or third person point of view? Ooh, this is very interesting. I feel like you like third person. <laughs> Would you say that? It's no, true. No, I actually really? like first person better. Interesting. I don't like getting into the character's head and yeah. what they're feeling versus getting to know different people's thoughts in third person. Mm. But I feel like I connect more when it's like, oh, I did this and I did that. Right. Hey, what about me? What do you think? Third person. No, I actually like first person as well. Because <gasps> I'm the same way. Like, I like being in their head. And Are I you feel copying like... me? No. <laughs> I feel like it's like easier to read sometimes for me. I don't know. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, same. Character driven or plot driven? What would you say for me? This is actually hard. No, I this think... is very easy. If you really think about the, the books that I like and and why I like them. I don't know. I, okay, I'm gonna say character driven. Yes, you're correct. But I feel like Erin Morgenstern, thinking about her books, they're aren't, not very plot driven. They're not very plot driven. Are That's they, the one thing that most but people don't like. Aren't they character like about her driven books. either, though? They're very character driven. They're all about her characters. Okay, but 
it just feels like more atmospheric driven in my I would say yes, that's eyes. heavily like fifty, but yeah. then the other fifty percent is all her all of her characters. Mm-hmm. I think for you it is probably character as well. Yeah. I do like a happy medium, but if like your characters aren't good, then... it's why it's so important for me in characters when I'm reading um slice of life books. If I have to really connect with the book, it has to be through the characters. Mm-hmm. So that's just me on my end. Gotcha, gotcha. Series or standalones? <gasps> you know me. You know me so well. Do I? You should. You like series. Okay, I'm leaving. Do I you like really standalones. Like standalones. But you read so many series. But standalones Especially recently. have like literally one of the best like places in my heart. Because they start and they end and they finish, right? Uh-huh. Versus like a series dragging it out. Mm. Being friends with Elias means that you roll your eyes constantly. That is me with Jesse. <laughs> the way you literally did. This whole the video, way you literally just rolled your eyes. Literally this whole video. <laughs> you like series. I'm just kidding. I was like, hello, are you done? <laughs> he, are you done? He literally will never finish a series. Like, even TV shows, movies, books, nothing. I can honestly say any series and he hasn't finished it. Uh, Throne of okay, Glass, Akatar, okay. Mortal Instruments. Uh, I finished the Mortal Instruments. You did? All seven of them? Why do I find yeah. it hot so hard No, to those, there's six of them. Whatever. <laughs> Leave me alone! Point taken! You're not here to attack me! I'm here to attack you! I'm here to expose you! <laughs> Big or short books. Mm. That's gonna make a joke. You can make a joke, doesn't mean it's gonna make it into the video. You're stupid! <laughs> uh, you like him big. I do like him big. Favorite character of all time. Some from Miss Peregrine, some from Peculiar Children. Main character? <sighs> yeah. Because you we look should like do. him. Not because I look like him. Yeah, you do. No. White, blue eyes, black hair. Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, your background right now is the Star of the Sea characters, right? On, On your my phone? phone? Yeah. yeah. So would you say those are? I mean, I just would assume. But obviously, like, like, apparently, Percy Jackson has a big place in your heart that I didn't even realize, so would you say Percy Jackson? I'll just give it to you, but, but there's so many. A book you love that a lot of people hate it. Don't people, like, not like Riley Sager? Uh, his books actually get a lot of mixed um, reception. So one of his books. I, Have you read I would say books? Final Girls, his Final baby Girls. book. Oh, you like that? So many people hated it, and I actually really liked it. <laughs> For you? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Uh, Red Queen? Wait, you like that one? Yeah, I liked Red Queen. I did not like that one. Ooh, oh my spicy. Gosh. I actually did not like Red Queen. However, I think I gave it, like, three stars. My three Three stars are Literally. so funny because I either don't like it, but I give it three stars anyway because I'm like, whatever, it's fine. It's just not for me. Or I'm like, this book freaking sucks, blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, eh, three stars. Oh my gosh, thank you for saying freaking. <laughs> I saw you holding back the Do you guys know how many times I've held myself back in this entire video? A book you hated that a lot of people love. The Good Girl's Guide to Murder. It was not good, guys. If you're someone who is new to the genre, yeah, sure. I think it's a great starter um, YA thriller. However, I just thought the character choices that were made in that book were so dumb. Ugh, I don't know. Oh, I know one. I didn't finish it though, because I hated it. A little life for you, because yeah. I don't think you ever finished it. I just and like so many, so many people really, really hate and despise that book, but I loved it. I loved it. It's literally one of my favorites. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just that's fine. <sighs> Have you read To Your Paradise yet? No, I know you didn't like it. Did you actually really finish that book? Yeah, I finished it. Wow. And I really didn't like it. So I need to hear your thoughts on it. Okay. If you end up loving it, then I don't know if we can be friends. Over a freaking book? <laughs> Someone needs to... You know I am dramatic. Aggressive. Yeah, you're very dramatic. Takes one to no one. <laughs> oh my god. I am not that dramatic. I am not that dramatic. Let me call up some of your siblings right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, who are you gonna call? Tristan. Oh my gosh. Tristan, say I am not dramatic. Don't expose me on camera. <clears throat> I can't believe you're actually calling Tristan. Hello? Hi, I just have one question for you. Uh-huh. Is Elias dramatic? Is Elias what? Dramatic? Yes, why? Thank you, bye. Bye. <laughs> you're so <laughs> dumb, I can't believe you actually <laughs> called him. A book you loved that was super hyped. Strange the Dreamer. Yeah. Night Circus, Starless Sea, those had a lot of hype. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Every Heart is a Doorway. Oh yeah, I guess so. That book is like... Her series overall is like so yeah, hyped. That was like really random. I like haven't <laughs> thought of that I book just saw in a right there time. and I was like, ooh, I'll say it. <laughs> Favorite book adaptation. That's you Jackson. randomly have a place in your heart for Percy Jackson. Oh so, my gosh. That I didn't know. I need you to make a video of like you defending yourself. Y'all are haters, okay? That's Wait, actually, I, I would say for you, probably like Wolf of the Lord of the Rings. <gasps> Lord of the Rings adaptation. Yes. You grew up on those. Right? I did. Yeah. We watched it so much to the point where my brother and I, my whole family, knew every single line in the entire like franchise. Mm. Even in the extended versions, we mm. knew. Mm. We knew each movie line. Yeah. That's how much we watched it. Hey. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar mm, Children. Oh, no. What? No. I wouldn't consider it a favorite. They, like, really did something wild with the, like, the last three. Have you seen it? Yeah. I thought it was okay. Exactly. <laughs> it's just Yeah, okay. but I thought the book was okay, too. I didn't... It's not really my cup of tea. I think I DNF'd the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Go away! Mortal Instruments? That movie was good. That movie was actually good. Twilight. I'm saying right here... But you haven't even read You don't books. know me at all! Hunger Games! Yes, thank Hunger Games. Deckled Edges are not. I'm gonna say you really don't care. I actually really like Deckled Edges. I do too! Fine. Thank you. 
I just answered it. Well, yeah, I like them. I was, I was gonna say yes everyone for you. Hates them. Yeah, They're everyone really hates them. Really nice. They for some reason. sort of like an old, older antique feel. Yeah, I think yeah. It's, if it's appropriate to the book. Series, duology, or trilogy? I feel like you like duology than trilogy than series. Yeah, yeah, I do. Duologies for me, it's nice because if I want more from that series, there's only one more book. Versus trilogy, usually most of the time, the second book is just, it's just, just not filler, that bad. Yeah. Content. It's like building up for the third one. The series in itself just takes forever. So like most people are like, gen like sometimes wait, generally wait for the whole series to get complete and they just buy it in bulk. I can never understand that because I was like, what if I hate the first? Imagine if someone did that to Sarah Jamesis books. They waited and then they read like the first two. They're like, this is not for me. <laughs> and then they bought, was it seven? Books, Are you just or like even like Harry Potter to attack me? Because that's what I did. <laughs> I've only read Akatar and I bought. All you the only books. read up to Empire of Storms. He hasn't even read like Empire of Storms is the one right before the last book, though. No, it's not. Well, I've read up to the last. Book. Have you read Tower of Dawn? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you did? Yeah. Has he finished Kingdom of Ash? At, I this, time, gotten there at this point, he's not going to read it because I'm pretty sure he forgot everything. So he said, I must reread the, the rest of the series. I want to reread it. At this point, it's guys. I must. It's a want. It's a need. You'll, you'll, you'll never going to finish Kingdom of Ash. Well, with that attitude, I won't. Okay, what about me? I would say maybe the same, honestly. Mm -hmm. Duology, trilogy, and then series. Yeah. Yes, duologies were made for me because I'm bad at commitment. Those are hard to commit to, so. His word's not mine. He's bad at commitment. Paperback or hardback? I think you What's probably. Have. You probably are more of a paperback person, but you have a lot of hardback. Yes, I am. I yeah. love reading from a paperback. Do you do flop tests when you're in the store? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this weirdo. <laughs> so we're here for the flop. <laughs> <laughs> I think you prefer the same. You're just a hardback boy? Yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I like the feeling of hardback books in my... <laughs> That's saying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that has been Elias and me annoying each other for 30 minutes. I'm not annoying. I'm ha I had a great time. Can't say the same. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for being on my channel today, Elliot. <laughs> thanks for thanks for inviting me. You have to check out the other video that we did. Uh, we reacted to the Heartstopper series. Well, um, thanks for having me. This was this is fun, regardless. I don't think I've ever um, seen you so disheveled. <laughs> you're gonna watch you're gonna watch this back and you'll be like, oh my gosh, this was a mistake. <laughs> it's so hard to edit. <laughs> no, don't edit me. No. <laughs> I'll leave a link to Elias' channel down below. If you like this video, be sure to go and hit that like button. If you want to see more bookish content from me, be sure to go and hit subscribe or go and hit that bell icon. You'll be notified every time I post new videos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope your day is bright, that tomorrow is brighter. Keep reading what your heart desires, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. Oh, you leave the C screen. Oh. Bye. <laughs>
Why am I blinking on my outro? If you like this video, be sure to go and hit that like button. If you want to see more bookish content from me, be sure to go and hit subscribe. Or go and hit that bell icon. You'll be notified every time I post new videos. I hope your day is bright. <laughs> Why can't I remember my I outro? I don't even know. This is the third time we're doing this. Oh my god! Why can't I think of it? <laughs> La 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 la